Hello once again, TechGeek311 here with another app review and tutorial. Today we're going to cover the productivity app, AnyDo. Alright, today's productivity app review and tutorial is going to cover the app called Any.Do. Go into the App Store first, I'll go ahead and show you AnyDo. Uh, but before I do, I'll let you know that we're going to cover their partner app, which is called Cal, Calendar for Living, in another video. So be sure to check that one out. But today we're going to cover the productivity app, AnyDo. It's a very good productivity app. It covers everything for today, tomorrow, upcoming, uh, someday. You can change the color from white to black if you prefer. You also have a lot of drop-down menu settings. Uh, you have this daily planning here. This is called an any do moment. So you can have that alert you every day, certain days of the week, whatever's your preference. You also have in here that you can add your dues by voice. So you can say what you want it to do and it'll type it in for you. Down here we have the description giving all the information on what any do is, giving you all its little PowerPoints. Uh, letting you know that it comes with a calendar built in. You also have your iOS calendar synced to it so you can check those so your to-dos don't conflict. Go down here, scroll to the bottom, you can see that the last update was actually August 4th of this year. Uh, we're currently on the 7th so that means that they are currently uh, updating this app periodically and that's a good thing to know. You can look at their version history this will show you down the bottom that this app came out back in May of 2012 last update August of this year so that's good to know you can look at their developer info and like I told you we're going to cover the app Cal in another video so be sure to check that out go down here you can see they have a little license agreement as well so you have a lot of uh, stuff you can read about them you also have their privacy policy which takes you right into their website so you know that this app is a uh, going to be a very good one to use. Going back into here, you can see that it has quite a few reviews. Uh, you can see also they have their support site on here as well. And if you look under related, of course, you got the other app in there that they have called Cal. And we're going to cover that one uh, in another video. All right, let's get into any do right now. So we'll go right into the app. Now, what you'll notice on the app is that it gives you automatically a today, tomorrow, upcoming, and someday. Any one of those plus buttons on the right, you can add your task however you want. You can just hit today, add it by voice, or add it by type. Same thing with tomorrow, upcoming, and someday. Now, in the bottom middle, there are going to be two little lines. If you swipe up on those two little lines, now you're going to get to sort by date sort by folder uh, to sync it which this app will sync with your Google Chrome you have your settings and you have your any do moment so we're going to go into settings first in settings you'll notice we have folders you can create your separate folders or you can leave up folders already on there you have your any do moment and this is going to allow you to get an alert whenever you choose uh, however many days you want to choose it and whatever time you want to use to do it and I'll show you an end do moment here in a minute you have your themes you can either go white or you can go black whatever's your choice you can turn your sounds on or off you can leave the developer feedback so if you go to feedback it's going to give you uh, if you want to send your love to them or if you want to send them a feedback you have whatever speech you want, so this can actually do multi-languages. You can get your app badge to show only today's task all or the task only in your folders, depending on how you want to do it, or no badge at all. When you go to done tasks, this is where all your completed tasks are going to show up. If you notice in the bottom it says delete all, that will clear all your done tasks if you don't need to use them anymore. And then you have what's on the bottom called Clip Rewards. Now I haven't received anything from these awards yet, but apparently according to the developer, the more you use this app, they start offering a lot of awards, gift cards, things like that. So it looks like something that's very good to use. Okay, so now let's go in and we're going to add a task first. So let's go into today. 
and I'm just going to say to test this app. Now, you see it gives me a little suggestions too. I can use those or I can go with what I have. You'll notice on the top now it gives you a little clock and it gives you a little uh, map arrow. So you can put the location or you can put in there the time. We're going to go with the time. So now it's going to give you, of course, your little scroll menu. You can choose whatever time you want. Uh, I can say let's do it for 6 p.m. So now I hit set, automatically add it in there. Now, when I tap on that, now it's going to tell me not only the time and the folder I put it in, but it's going to give me my priority. So I can tap priority, it'll turn it red. I can choose a folder if I want to move it to another folder. You notice that the alarm bell is in red. That tells you that this one has an alert. You can add notes and you can assign it to a person. So you can go here and you can choose your friends by entering their name or entering their email. If you want to edit it, you have a little pencil on the right. Hit that edit, now you can edit the app. Okay, once you're done with that, if you don't need this one anymore, you want to get rid of it, slide your finger across, you're going to get a, a line that strikes it through and you're going to get a little X. You can leave this up here, it'll clear the next day if you want, or if you want to, hit that little X, and you get a little number on the bottom. This tells you how many you've completed so far. I guess that's how they're going to base you for your rewards. Slide it up, go to settings, go to done task, and there it is. That's the one we just did. I go to delete all, it's going to ask me if I want to do it, and I hit OK. And there it goes. Now, let's try an any do moment. So we're going to go into today, we're going to type in test, we're going to type in app, and we're going to type in to do. All right, so these are all set for today, all three of these. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to any do moment and watch. It's going to tell me good evening, give me my name that I've set for it, and it's going to say, okay, test, do you want to do it today? You want to move it to later? Is it done? Or you want to delete it? If you say today, It'll ask you when do you want to do it, since I didn't set a time for this. You can say no alarm. There it goes. Okay, app, I want to do that tomorrow. I'm going to say later, it's going to ask you tomorrow, two days, next week, or Sunday. I'll say tomorrow. This one says to do. I don't need it anymore. Delete. Done. And that's your energy moment. So now you've noticed that app moved over to tomorrow and test stayed where it was. That's what I love the most about this one. I, now I do wish the app badge would update after midnight, but this is another cool way of doing it. So I've talked to the developers, they are in working on having the app badge update after midnight too. But any do moment is a cool way to, to all of a sudden get this alert in the morning and hey, here's my apps and or here's my to do's I gotta do all day. So I like that one. So you can delete anything that you want. You wanna undelete it, just swipe backwards. And you can also grab that and move it to another day. So it gives you that sliding ability. So however you want to do it, it's up to you. Then, like I said, we're going to delete these two. You notice my bottom on the bottom, it just changed colors now. Tell me I had 15, so I slide up here, go to settings, and go to done. Now here's all my dones. See that one that I deleted in any due moment just showed up there. So I hit delete all, and hit OK. All right. So that pretty much is any do. That's what the app is. And uh, so I want to go into uh, Google Chrome and go and show you guys a little bit of how it syncs with that. But um, so let's go ahead and do that, and I'll go ahead and show you that one. All right, here we are in Google Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this on here. I'm gonna bring my iPhone in front real fast so I can give you an idea. Okay, under here we're gonna go under Sync. If you look under sync, it's going to tell you add task and get reminders on your desktop with your Chrome extension. Alright, so I'm going to show you on here how it works. If you go up here on the top right corner, now I've already added this extension on here already. So if I tap on that little any do symbol, it's going to pop up my list exactly the same way it looks on my phone. So they both look exactly the same. So now, if I go in here 
and I add a task for today. So let's say we do app test and return. Okay, there it is. So that showed up for today. Now, I'll go back to my application. Now you have sync. Okay. What I can do, I can come in here and you'll see it's going to add it to here. So watch. There it is. As soon as I opened up the application again, you can see there's exactly the same as I just as I just added it. So now I'm going to here and I'm going to check it off and I'm going to delete it. Okay, you can come back up here, come down, let's go into done task, test this app, let's delete that one, okay, I'm going to come back out here, I'm going to go back out, there's the app badge, and there it is. So you have to do a little refresh, unfortunately they don't work exactly the same as, uh, as you would think of in real time, uh, but it does work. It does allow you to add your task on your Google Chrome on your computer, and those will sync to your application on your phone. So it's a, it's a neat little trick, neat little thing you can do. Uh, I figured I'd show you guys that, give you a little idea of how that works. But uh, it's a cool little idea, and I wanted to show you that this, this application can do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, don't forget to like below and, um, and go ahead and subscribe and I uh, hope you guys leave me any comments. If you, if you want to check this app out, just go ahead and go down to my description. You'll see the link below and you can check it out from there. Alright, but I want to thank you guys for watching and I will get back with you with the other video. Remember, we're going to do a video covering the partner app to this called Cal. Thank you very much. Have a good day.